My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, it doesn't take long for reality to come crashing down on us again after December 25th is over, or maybe even the evening of the 24th. Many of us have nice dinners and family gathers and give presents. Everything's a little bit more joyful. But then the 26th comes around and you get up and you look around and that present you got at least pretended to be excited about. I was like, oh man, what am I going to do with this thing? <laughs> we do a white elephant, gift, a white elephant gift exchange in my family. And this year, the, the bar was pretty low. I ended up with a big cement bear with cheap <laughs> paint. What am I going to do with that? <laughs> Still sitting in the box where I left it on the 25th. <laughs> in the gospel reading, reality came crashing down pretty quick, too. Jesus has been born, right? The last scene, there's angels singing in the heavens, shepherds show up, we have this beautiful scene in the manger. They bring him to the temple to be dedicated to the Lord. And what happens? Some strange guy picks him up and then says, at last I can die. Simeon's been holding on to life just to let go now that he's seen the Lord. And then he blesses Mary. And if you read what he, how he blesses her, it doesn't seem like a blessing at all. It's like, hey, your kid's going to get a bunch of people mad and a soul's going to, the sword will pierce your soul too. I feel blessed. <laughs> but that disconnect we might see between our Christmas celebrations and what we wake up to on the 26th, those things that we might resolve today to do away with in the new year. Lose those five pounds that we gained over the holidays. No joke, one day after dinner this week, we passed around the cookie plate, and I realized before the coffee was even served, I had had 14 cookies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> Shedding some pounds would be good, right? <clears throat> but those realities are connected to what we celebrate on Christmas. God didn't come into a quaint, quiet, peaceful world. Jesus didn't have some sort of sterile, ultra-serene, peaceful birth. <laughs> birth is messy, and God came into the reality of our lives. Things that life is like on December 26th, or January 2nd, or March 3rd, August 14th, whatever. That's the world that God came into. That's the world that God is redeeming, our actual lives, not a romantic view of our lives. Because we don't need a savior from that. Those moments are great, and we should savor them. What we need is a savior that will come in when we hurt, that will come in when someone we love finally dies, and to know that they have gone in peace, that our lives will go in peace, for we have seen the salvation of our God. And now we can shed things, we can shed those pounds, we can live as sheep in God's fold. Not the fat sheep who punch everyone out of the way to get their food, but sheep who hurt, the lean sheep, that need tending. We don't have to solve all of the world's problems on our own because we have a Savior and a God who loves us and is with us. Thanks be to God that we are his lean sheep.